Let's look at some of the ways you guys have been creating art through knife crime. So I'm joined now by Luke. You're an Anglican ordinant, and Joe. Nice to meet Hi you guys. Nice You're right. Good to see. You. Tell me how you even thought to create this. What inspired this? Because, I mean, looking at it first time, it's really quite shocking. I mean, look how incredibly sharp and serrated these edges are. I mean, that puts the fear of God into me, if I'm honest. Absolutely, yeah. We wanted to create something really provocative. Um, knife crime is a huge issue in Luton and serious youth violence and gang involvement. Uh, so we really wanted to create something that would elevate the conversation and amplify the voices of the young people who are really affected by it. But where did all these knives come from? I mean, look at this. It's absolutely terrifying. So they've all come from amnesty bins from Luton and Bedfordshire. Um, one of the really scary ones at the front there actually had a note from the person's mother who found it in his bedroom. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And you created this as well because you're an artist, is that um, right? Yeah, so I designed it. The brief was to sort of show chaos to sort of um, cohesion and, and a kind of sign of hope and peace at the end. That's really positive. Well, it's an issue with no easy solution, but I think we're all agreed here that each knife crime incident is a real tragedy and it's so important that we don't give up on finding ways to tackle it. Absolutely. Thanks, Ria. Great to see some people trying to put an end